Dang. How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I just now clicked OK and there's already a couple comments on there. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Ruben's 31 Days of Giveaways. <laughs> I hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful uh, Thanksgiving. Thank all of you guys for tuning in. Today we are talking about Pro Knees, the best knee pads on the planet, without a doubt, okay? Um, I didn't have these. I, I've seen people or I've heard from people talking about them for years. I can't even say that. Uh, how's it going, everybody? Thank you guys for joining in. I really appreciate it. Today we're going to be giving away a pair of these Pro Knees knee pads. Maybe something else and maybe something else. We'll just see how things go. Like I said, the last time on the live stream, I have uh, 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 more than enough to give away per day. Uh, I'm sorry, I always, every single time I forget to do this, I want to get my YouTube pulled up here so I can see the comments on the big screen. I always forget that. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Uh, yeah, I had a wonderful Thanksgiving, Sean. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Sorry about this, y'all. I do this every single time. Okay. How's it going? Let me get that turned off there. That gives me a big screen there to see the see the comments as they come in rather than looking at my little bitty phone there so again we are talking about the pro knee knee pads today and i want you to give a shout out to his son richie who watches you all the time thanks richie i appreciate you tuning in or i appreciate you watching um so first thing i want to talk about is these are absolutely awesome okay they're they don't get any better than what you got right here somebody saying love pro knee yeah you're exactly right First off, let's take a look at this pad right here. So this one inch thick pad, this ain't no little uh, memory foam or anything like that. This is a really, really dense pad. I don't know if you can tell how hard I'm pushing on that. That's a really dense pad. Look at the, this part right here. It actually goes around right at the bottom of your, uh, at the, this sets on the top of your foot. I'll put them on in a second and show you guys. For those of you that don't know anything about them, this sets right at the top of your foot and this wraps around the back of your leg there. Jesus says those look like they're getting away while kicking. Uh, yeah, I, some people say that they do kick with them. However, I don't kick with knee pads, so they quite possibly might get in the way kicking. I, I can't say that because I never used a kicker with knee pads. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, these go from the top of the foot all the way to the top of the knee. Again, they have a one inch pad, and if you can see the arch right here, See how they're arched up right here in the center, right there? This point right here is right dead on the shin. So your knee will go up here and the foot goes right here. All of your weight is distributed right here to your shin. So that makes it super awesome. It takes all the weight off of your knee and off the tops of your feet. I don't know how many of you guys have issues with, uh, well, let me say this first. Um, Melardrum. Yeah. We will ask a question and the answer is sealed in this envelope and yep. whoever gets the answer right is who wins. Okay. Um, so, um, wearing regular typical knee pads that only go on your knee puts me in my position, puts me in a lot of pressure on my feet because I sit on my feet running my seam iron, uh, pretty much everything. I'm sitting on the tops of my feet. So I want to take and show you guys just a little picture that was took right here before I started wearing the knee pads. And you can take a look at my feet. I've, I'm telling you, I've had, I right now have nerve damage in my feet uh, to where they burn and everything like that. I have some, my feet are like messed up permanently from doing floor covering and sitting on the tops of my feet all the time. That took more of a beating than it did on my knees. Let me flip this around. I wanna show you guys what my feet used to look like before I started wearing pro knees. And this is, you know, this is serious, okay? I'm not just saying this. So that's a picture of my feet. I don't know if, yeah, you can see it. So that's a picture of my feet before I started wearing the pronies. You can see the abnormally large calluses on both feet. And then this area right here is like all, it's nerve damage right there. And right here, the tops of my toes even take a beating and everything like that. Uh, I don't know. It might just be the position that I'm in, but that is that's it man I mean it's it's bad so um, I definitely am thankful for these pro knees like I said these take me off of my feet they take me off of my knees and they put all of the weight right on your shin 
That's uh now Benz, I showed those right there. Y'all don't laugh at me right here, okay? I'm gonna take my socks off and show you guys my feet now. I'm gonna do it like that. So I've been now uh, it's been about mm, I think about two months since I've been wearing pro knees. This y'all don't y'all don't laugh, okay? I'm gonna show you my feet though. <laughs> Laughing my striped socks either. I just come from church a little bit ago. <laughs> Shine it down. Right. Okay. So look at them now. These is where the calluses are. Was. They still are a little bit. But as you can see, they are a hundred, hundred percent better than what they was. Okay. This is where it was all red. It's still got some discoloration there. But as you can see, two months of wearing the pronies and they are dramatically dramatically better okay you see that with the light on it real good right there so that right there should speak for the pro knees right off the bat all the way around okay now i just want to show you that i hope you guys didn't get grossed out by looking at my feet well i'm gonna say that huge difference uh man they work they definitely Those work knots look familiar <laughs> <laughs> they definitely work and they are definitely worth the investment i want to really really stress it to you guys i seen a guy here a while back sent me a picture of his feet and his feet were like swelled up his ankles and everything like that were swelled up and i was like man you really need to get some of these they are absolutely wonderful and they have helped out tremendously that right there just looking at the difference from that and then that picture on the screen there what my feet were like before the pro knees should speak in plenty high enough volume to make somebody want to go spend two hundred and fifty dollars and buy some, uh, two hundred and thirty nine dollars is what they are. I got a, I got a voucher right here, and this is what we're going to be giving away. It's for the pro knees. <laughs> there you go, Phantom. Uh, they are for the pro knees. So whoever whoever wins this little giveaway, I'll send them this voucher, and then they'll have to send it in. I'll get to in, more into that in just a little bit. Whenever whoever wins, I'll tell you about it. Um, I wanna, I wanna put these on and show you guys exactly where the pressure and stuff like that is. Sugar, can you run this in? I'm gonna let my wife run the camera. She's gotta look the opposite way. So, look in the mirror house. Look right here. See how she's gotta do that so she can't see me on the back. So y'all bear with her and be patient, okay? Because I got my microphone right here. I'm watching my iPad. Okay. <laughs> So the one thing I did about these, as you can notice, I got an ink pen mark right here on the side of this uh, because right off the bat, I noticed me wearing them a little different. So I wear, this one always goes on my left leg and the other one goes on my right leg. I keep it different because they wear different. I noticed that after the first day when I put them back on, I was like, man, that don't feel funny. That definitely needs to go back on the other leg. So that don't feel funny? I mean, <laughs> it feels funny because it was already getting worn. Okay, shine down here. I mean, look down here. So as you can see, this strap right here goes right in the fat part of your calf. And look right here at the bottom. This right here actually goes right to the top of your foot right there, okay? This is all nice, big, and bulky. I, get, I can't deny that at all, okay? A lot of people say they look big and bulky and heavy and all that stuff. They absolutely are, okay? I can't deny that. But the benefit that you get out of them is absolutely phenomenal, okay? Uh, it took me, It took me less... Took me less than uh took me about two hours of wearing these and i was already you know I, all right cool these are great it took me like i said about two hours of wearing them and i was comfortable in them i was feeling good in them so again look right here to the side sugar so again this is my knee right here right to the top of my knee is where they fit right to the top of my knee all the way down to the top of my foot right there if you can see that arch in it right there that's that is the furthest part out where you uh showing come up just a little bit so that arch right there in the center is you can see where it peaks out like that right there that's right dead in your shin okay so it takes that off of that takes the pressure off of your feet I'm gonna get down and let you guys see right here so look at this okay so look at that we sit right on my toes look we can actually just kind of rock back and forth there a little bit okay because all of the pressure is right there Okay, all the pressure is right here on the shin, okay? Nothing's right here. Look at that. It even gives you, you, you know, you got your little bit of a pivot point because of that reaching out and sticking out above it, okay? Now, when you're working, I still look at my feet. A lot of guys will set like this right here on their feet. 
or on their toes. I don't do that, and that's what's caused a lot of problems on my feet. I still sit like this, but because of the, because of the height of these, okay, that I'm raising up. Thank you, Jared. I can't quite see that, but I do see a something there. I can't see the number, but thank you anyway. So, anyway, because I do sit like that. Here we go. Sign up. Max B says, pro knees or no knees. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you can get up and get my whole body view in, because I want to show how I sit and the benefit of these. So, so, when I'm working, I'm sitting like this right here, and I'm working, okay? I either got just my little bit of my toes, or I'm sitting just flat like that. Well, look at that. So I'm sitting and my feet are free to move just like so right there. I can be sitting here working like this and my feet are absolutely not on the floor. And for, like I said a while ago, from my experience, that was the most brutal part of everything there was the top of my feet. So uh, as I'm sitting here working like this, nothing is on the top of my feet. Nothing is on my knees, okay? Everything is right here in the shin, okay? That, that's it. That's the whole science behind them right there. And look, you know, you just get used to them. You can walk around in them just like you would a regular pair of knee pads, okay? Um, some people say they kick in them. Look, that might be plausible, okay? Because as you can see, if you get them, you know, these are personally fit to yourself, okay? So right here, my knee is flush with the top of that knee pad, okay? Look. Okay, so you might be able to kick on them. I just don't do it, but you might be able to kick in them. A lot of people say that they do kick in them. I'm not going to say no, you can't do that because you can see right there, your knee, your knee, your kicking part of your knee is actually flush with the top of your knee pad if you get a measure correctly. So as I just demonstrated right there, if I was kicking the kicker, my knee is actually making contact with my desk right there, just like it would if I was kicking a kicker, okay? So you probably can kick in these. I don't doubt it one bit. Um, the only thing the only thing that I would recommend um, on these, whenever you are, <coughs> excuse me, whenever you are measuring for these, and you, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description here below as soon as I get done with the video. Um, Whenever you are measuring for these, I would, just from my experience, I would measure, like I said, these things are personally uh, measured to your own leg. You have to send in measurements and they make them specifically to fit your leg. So whenever- Catherine says, would they work with boots? Um, I'm sure they would. It, uh, I don't know, cowboy boots or what, I don't know about. Uh, well, um, the bottom part, look right here. Let's see here. So the bottom part right here, I'm sure it will because I'm, I'll pull this apart and show you in just a second. Definitely wouldn't have no issue with work boots whatsoever, okay? That is not a problem. Cowboy boots. <laughs> I, hear, I hear you. Work boots. Okay. So let me show you something right here, okay? So they give you measurements, and this is exactly what I was fixing to get into. So let me take these off, and I want to show you something. Somebody says, have you ever tried a set of tall knee dollies? Uh, I have not. I have seen them, but I don't do enough tile to actually buy someone. How's it going? So look here. This is how they come whenever they are bought. See, this is the one. This right here is the strap that goes around the bottom of them like that, okay? So this is measured to my size right here. Let's keep that back. This is measured to my size, and this is how they come. They do have a little bit of adjustment on it, okay? And that's what I was just fixing to get into. So you see that right there? Oops. It's got Velcro on it, so you can actually undo that slide it loosen it or tighten it you got a couple inches of play there if you happen to get it uh mismeasured just a little bit however you do want to be specific about your measurements okay so look at the top one right here this is my top strap right here okay you can see how much velcro i got sticking i had to pull it that much out okay so i only got like two inches of velcro sticking right there and that is because i should have should have uh measured it a little bit tighter so that's what I was fixing to recommend I would definitely uh, measure just a little bit snug okay you can always loosen it up a little bit but you only got so much play to where you can uh, adjust it in and make it bigger or out bigger but I would rather by all means adjust it uh, out to make it bigger because when you make it out to make it bigger this strap right here is going to get shorter rather than making it tighter see how long that got now that that much is just flapping out the back of my leg however it don't come undone but it's still just flapping out the back of my leg so 
Uh, my suggestions is whenever you're doing that, pull that string or whatever you do. That's I think that's is that what we did? Put a string around my leg and then measured it. So uh, I put a string around the calf of my leg and then I put a string from my, uh, the bottom of the floor up and everything like that. And I used a string to get my measurements. Pull that string nice and tight whenever you measure it, okay? And that is going to uh, make sure that you, you don't have that flapping out there, okay? But if you'll notice the screws right here, these pronies have screws there, 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 look, there, there, there. And I, to be honest with you, this was a little bit of concern to me. I actually asked a mess of people on a, a Facebook group, did that ever have any issues with um, scratching hardwood, vinyl plank, or anything like that? Everybody said, no, 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 there's another screw right there. And I can honestly say thus far, I've not had a single issue with these marking the floor because everything is there okay this never touches the floor that i know of okay it's never this part right here is war and this part right here you can actually see the wear spots on that right there you can see where it touches the most right there and right here okay that's probably the most you can actually see a line right there and right there it must be the frame of the knee pad the frame of the shape of the frame that's underneath the knee pad okay does it irritate the back of your leg while working as with the smaller knee pads i have not had a single issue with them irritating the back of my leg and i definitely know that for a fact that that is an issue because i don't wear shorts i always wear pants and back uh bunching up on the back of your legs the pants bunching up on the back of your legs is definitely a problem let me show you real quick why that don't bother me okay so can you hold that again Shine it down right there just a little right there. Okay, so this is why it's not going to be irritable to you. You see where this is? This is on my calf. Regular knee pads that only fit the knee. One comes up here and one comes down here. And then you got all your wadded pants right there in the bend of your knee. That's where it gets red and all that right there. This is all free, okay? There's nothing bunched up in the bend of my leg right there, okay? My strap is down here and my strap is way down here at the bottom. So there's nothing bunched up going to cause any irritation whatsoever right here in the back okay that is an absolute another plus about that so uh i don't know what else to say about them these things are just absolutely phenomenal and I, like i said i wished i had to come i wished i had to um come across these years ago i think if i'm not mistaken these things have been out for <laughs> thank you sean that was my church socks um uh Huckleberry says, Harbor Freight has tall knee dollies for 20 bucks. Give them a try. I guarantee you'll like them. I don't, I don't hardly, do, I don't, I'm scared to use those on LVP and hardwood. If I did, if I did a lot of VCT or even if I did ceramic, I probably would do that. But with, with it being hardwood and vinyl plank and stuff like that, I'm kind of scared of those. So I don't really know. I don't, I'm scared of them. I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to tear nothing up or damage any uh, products that I'm putting down on there. Uh, our pro knees, super expensive. Right here, They these are $239 is how much them 0714s cost, the ones I'm showing you right now. They cost $239, okay? But those are the best, but if you just but it's just expensive they are expensive I, I won't i won't deny that they are big but they're, it will save your knees they're bulky they're heavy i won't deny none of those things but uh i've i've talked i talked to people been in the trade for 40 50 60 years and everybody gives the credit to the there you go thank you good house installation everybody gives the credit to uh the the pro knee knee pads okay so I wish I had to come across them a long time ago. I would not have nerve damage. Look, look again. I would not have that damage to my feet right now. Okay, I'm I'm not exaggerating on that. I take some. I take lidocaine every night when I get out of the shower. Rub on the top of my feet and everything like that, and that helps for a while. Even even still, it's still a little irritable just for the blankets to be on the top of my feet. So, uh, there you go. Thank you, Good House. I appreciate that feedback. That is positive. And these, if you're going to be in this flooring game for a long time, I, I strongly urge you guys that's, that are young and stuff like that, thank you, Josh, that are young and maybe have been in the trade for five, six, seven, eight, nine years, not been in the game 
not been in the industry. I'm sorry. I hate saying game. It's not a game. This there ain't nothing a game about this. Okay, this is a, a hardcore industry. I don't even want to portray it as a game. I hate using that. It just came out. But if you're going to be in this industry for a long time, it definitely provides for your family really well, and for years to come. Okay, you can you can uh, be in this trade for a really long time, and still have an okay body years and years and years down the road uh take care of yourself while you're younger okay i'm serious on that i wish i wished i wished that i had a i wish i knew now what i didn't know then we'll put it that way or i i heard it from a bunch of old guys probably like myself talking to you just now take care of yourself wear knee pads blah 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 one in out one in in one ear and out the other, you know what I'm saying? I was young, stupid, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just started wearing knee pads probably about 10 years ago is, is the is when I first started wearing knee, pad, knee pads. And I've been 28 years now have I been installing. So about 18 years without laying knee pads. And uh, it did a number on me, I'll say that. Even, even the past 10 years wearing knee pads but not wearing pro knees, okay? even that you know that helped my knees a little bit wearing knee pads but as you can see right there it still did a number on my feet okay that's just like i can't explain it enough okay you guys thank you jared i appreciate it buddy you guys need look 239 dollars okay i would pay 239 dollars over and over and over again to not deal with what i deal with every night because i did not wear pro knees okay <laughs> What is it? Phantom says, good stuff, Ruben. That hat is making me take you less serious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How about that? How about that? Okay. Somebody said, how that happened to the feet? That's by not having those pro knees. Not wearing pro knees. I want to put that back on because this is actually a Christmas thing here. So I'm going to leave it on. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just have to take me serious, okay? Forget the goofy little hat. But it's Christmas. At least he's not an elf. <laughs> yeah, Treva's my little helper over there. <laughs> Um, that happens from my feet. Uh, if you're just now tuning in, I wear knee pads, but I would sit on my feet a whole bunch while I'm working, while I'm burning seams, running the iron, or anything like that. So uh, even though I was uh, taking care of my knees, the tops of my feet still took a beating, okay? These knee pads right here, I want to say it again. Look at here. This is like an inch thick pad right here, okay? And then you have this, which is about another inch. So, and then you got the this built on top of it right here so you're looking at here we go let's just do this right here i got i got a tape measure right here so we are going to check this check it out we're going to check this out so right there what we got uh, about two look at there so that's about right uh it looks like three inches but it's not three inches it's about two and a half inches right there so that is elevating your body and that was a little weird to get used to too because it raises you up about uh, two and a half inches off the floor, which ultimately makes you bend over a little bit more. But that's that's cool too, you know. Uh, my back can take a lot more. <laughs> my back can take a lot more than the tops of my feet and my knees. It that did, I, it did feel a little funny because, like I said, you're up off the ground uh, two and a half inches higher than you're used to. You would say, well, two and a half inches ain't nothing. It makes a difference. I promise. It keeps you off of your feet and off of your knees. Okay, and um, had something else I was wanting to point out. Uh, tired at the end of the day. That just makes... Snap. Oh, let me get back over here. That just makes I'm not more tired end of the day. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, good to know. Love the feedback. Thanks. Um, I was going to say something. I can't remember what I was going to say. We're going to a Christmas break tonight with the grandbabies. Yeah. <laughs> here in just a bit. Anyway, um, dang it, it slipped my mind there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, Pitbull, Malicia. Malicia, Malicia, Malicia. I appreciate that a lot, okay? That's going to be greatly appreciated. Like I was telling on the live stream or so ago, it's going to take me, uh, <laughs> it's going to take me probably a couple thousand dollars to mail all this stuff out. So all, that's, all that is appreciated, okay? Uh, 
what is the front of the pro knees made out of okay let me get right here it is made out of it has a rubber boot on it i want to i want to get right here so uh shin to knee contact area was molded from a human model in a in a kneeling position okay so they made this frame right here they made this plastic frame um i got three grandbabies thank you though they made this plastic frame right here mold out of a molded uh human body positioned in the kneeling position okay so that's why this fits your leg so well because it was molded from a human mold okay uh allows long allows kneeling for long periods of time without any pressure points being felt through the pads that's absolutely correct okay i will say one thing uh, because this does distribute all of your weight excuse me as you've seen a while ago when i had these on and kneeling it puts all the weight right on your shin okay and i will say this the second day wearing them and i got back down on my knees with these knee pads it felt like somebody had kicked me in the shin the day before i will say that that's because everything was distributed right here to my shin but that soon really quick went away okay like i said the next day it felt like somebody kicked me in the shin because my shins were not used to being uh crawled around on and everything like that so but however my knees didn't hurt and it definitely helped the top of my feet thank you again jared i appreciate that so uh i wouldn't even call that a drawback because that's just something to get used to it takes all the pressure and distributes it to a solid bone rather than the joints on the top of your feet the nerves on the top of your feet or the joints in your knees okay so i will take uh, a day or two of shin pain getting used to them over the top of my feet like they are now or blown out knees or anything like that okay this completely this is giving me uh healing back in my tops of my feet okay i can't explain that enough they definitely look and feel a whole lot better look and feel good half installation says you can replace almost all the parts on them yeah that's exactly right i was going to get into that just a while ago uh when i was talking about the screws so these things are made to last a lifetime okay every you see all the screws i was pointing out a while ago thank you for good house i appreciate you bringing that up because i definitely wanted to point that out um everything about these knee pads are replaceable okay from the straps uh the cover right here the pad the rubber boot right here the hard plastic frame everything everything you can completely rebuild these if something wears out something gets a little uh uh shabby or whatever like that you can buy these part by part okay you never have to go out and buy a full set of knee pads again okay uh look right here let me just turn this around let me let me get right here uh let's see here i want to get where let's see where was i at a while ago well anyway anyway every every single piece is is viable you don't have yeah uh once you wear them you'll never wear anything else there you go i've stated that time and time again since i've been wearing them and you are absolutely correct and i definitely definitely want to urge you young people hey 250 bucks okay 239 bucks that seems like quite a bit of money okay you're like dang that's almost 250 bucks for a pair of knee pads don't look at it like that we make good money in this trade okay that's a couple hours worth of work look at it like that and that makes it a lot easier to spend that couple hundred bucks on a pair of knee pads rather than saying dang that's 250 bucks no it's a couple hundred dollars okay there you go jared good point better than a 2500 hundred dollar knee x-ray it's better than going and getting fluid drawn off your knee it's better than going and having something done to your feet because you permanently got nerve damage going on now and living with issues with the top of your feet for the rest of your life it's I said, is the white pad on them rough or does it scratch OVT? No, it absolutely does not scratch OVT. Uh, some people say something. Hear that? Some people say uh, something about cleaning these after every use. My AP16s that I had before these, I never, ever cleaned them whatsoever. I've not cleaned these since I've had them. I'm fixing to get into what they're made out of. They are a rubber boot. What is it? Sean says it will be cheap to ship that voucher to the winner. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I wish I had thought about but that. We have, all, we have all this that we should have gotten vouchers for. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of heavy stuff. Um, anyway, I know for the next time anyway. So uh, just look right here. I'm going to turn this around and let you look at what I'm looking at here on my screen. 
So, uh, all right. So look right here. Uh, rubber boot. The outside part right there is a rubber boot. Buckle mounts. Uh, uh, frame components ribbed throughout. So that is uh, the hard plastic part right here. Anti-twist cuff. It keeps your keeps it from twisting and stuff like that. However, I, it does it does move around just a little bit whenever you are walking on it. Okay, I, I can't I can't deny that. Um, the foam insert, uh, no wrinkle uh, covering that goes over the pad and the toe spring. If you look at that picture right there, how they are, they are absolutely setting up from here and then it pivots up right here. So they are absolutely awesome. And that rubber boot's not gonna scratch anything, okay? I promise, I do so much LVP hardwood. Uh, I do mostly solid surface and I've not had a single issue out of them. Nobody's won yet, I, ain't, I haven't given them away yet, Sean. That is still to come. I haven't had a single issue out of them at all since I've had them marking the floor um, anything the only thing <laughs> the only thing that I want to stress is make sure you get your measurements tight around the upper part of your leg so that you don't have this extra bit right here okay make sure it gets nice and tight <clears throat> on your leg uh, thank you Jeremy Gibson I appreciate that buddy um, I will leave a link in the in the description of this right here so that you guys can um, whoever wins can get um, uh, figure out how to send in your measurements and stuff like that and the winner of this voucher needs to send this voucher to a let's see here uh, certificates cover the cost okay so whoever wins this it uh, it does not cover the cost of the shipping okay you can go to www.proneed.com and find a distributor or let's see here www.proneed.com slash distributor slash map let me turn this around right here okay that way you guys can see that and you can go back to it if you need to okay so this right here is where you need to go i'll, I'll leave a link to that too okay uh, to find a distributor look here uh, it does does not cover the cost of shipping and may be redeemed through one of the distributors distributors can be found right here okay so I'll leave a link to that in the description as well so anyway I don't know uh, I don't let me think here I'm trying to think of every possible thing to say about these because they are absolutely awesome uh my local carpet cushion has a pro knee rep in-house it's nice awesome that's awesome be real nice to have one of those uh in-house there uh right quick while i got what do i got here uh 38 people tuned in here can you guys give a thumbs up to this please i would greatly appreciate it hit the like button for me that would help out a little bit uh let's see here uh, let's see let's see about any cheap stickers out there going, going through these comments really quick thank you guys I appreciate that uh, hitting the like button I see the numbers are going up right there I really do appreciate it and this is one this is day one okay have much much more to come on these um, thank you Jared I appreciate that thank everybody for their live streams um, are you guys ready we are not doing <laughs> We're not, <laughs> we're not going to do the number game on this one, okay? Thank you, Carpet Repair Guys. I appreciate you tuning in, Josh. Just fixing to give away a pair of the Pro Knees right here. The 0714, these big boys that go from the top of your feet to the top of your knee. Um, highly recommended for anybody that is on their knees for uh, eight hours a day or even less than that. If, you're, if you do this every day, uh, you need you need to you need these knee pads. That's all there is to it. If you install flooring every day, you need your knee you need these for sure. Um, Prony's patent shin support system is key to taking pain and stress off knee knee joints by spreading weight across the length of the knee pad. Okay, the knee pocket shape and flat bottom design helps stabilize knee joint, which can reduce joint wear out and knee burn pain. Okay. Thank you, Jared. I appreciate that once again. Um, 
Again, you guys can always check out uh, Prony at www.prony.com. You can look at them on Facebook, Mr. Prony on Facebook. Um, all of your distributors that are around, uh, you guys check them out, okay? Ask questions and stuff. If you, if you don't take it from me, ask questions. Uh, if you go to a distributor or someone like that that has them in the store, try them on, check them out. Get down on your hands and knees and crawl around. It don't matter if you look like a fool doing it. Do it. It's gonna you're gonna be surprised. I promise you. Okay, these things are absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so with that being said, let's get to the giveaway. Um, I usually will do a number game. I usually guess the number. Tell you guys, uh, pick a number between one and fifty or whatever like that. Whoever picks the number wins. However, this time I'm gonna make it a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna do a little corny joke. Whoever gets the joke right is gonna win, okay? The answer is sealed in this envelope. <laughs> so right. <laughs> this is so stupid. Anyway, my wife works with me and she, yes, they are absolutely unisex. They are male or female. They're, they're knee pads, they're gonna fit anybody. And also they are, in Ohio we have Fishman's. We actually got those here too, so that's awesome. Got it, or Nashville's Fishman's. Um, they're tailor made to your size, okay? They are tailor made. You send in measurements, you measure your leg, you measure your leg. Here you go, baby. Hold that. I'm gonna show you guys right now how to do that. Okay, turn it down a little bit. So you take your shoes off, you measure from the floor, all the way from the floor to the top of your knee. What I did, I put me a little something straight right there and I actually had my wife measure to it, get down eye level and look right there. So to the top of my knee is one measurement. Right around the fattest part of your calf is another measurement. And then right down here above your ankle is another measurement. So three measurements make these pro knees the perfect fit specifically for you, okay? So let's tell the corny joke. You want to? <laughs> he said he meant different colors. Oh, I don't think so. I think this is the only color they come in. I have seen some of the old ones. Uh, hey, Ruben, are you close to Nashville? I'm about 45 minutes or so from Nashville. Uh, what? Corny jokes and corny dogs. I like them both. <laughs> um, so let's see. Um, dang, I almost forgot the joke. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm cracking up already. This is stupid. Um, <laughs> you got to be a Batman fan, okay? Because it's got to do with Batman. Um, what do you call it when Batman skips out of church? That is the question. Whoever has the answer is going to get these knee pads. What do you call it when Batman skips out of church? There we go. Where's the answers at? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything at all. What do you call it when Batman skips out of church? Dark Knight, a Joker, uh, Batman. <laughs> That's a good one. Nana, uh, Nana Christian, Batman. Christian Bale. Okay, somebody got it right there. <laughs> Sean, Sean Mailer, you got it, buddy. Christian Bale. <laughs> Christian Bale, you got it, buddy. <laughs> Oh, mercy. It's spelled wrong, but... Yeah, it's spelled wrong, but it, that's it. You got it. So, Sean Miller, you are the winner. Let's look right here at the answer. That is... Oh, let's see here. Where's it at? Right there it is. Christian Bale. That was the answer. It was spelled wrong, but that's still the same thing. So... Uh, Sean Mailer, you got it, buddy. Congratulations. Let me type my number down right here for you. Um, let me see here. Five, two, zero, three, five, one. But don't give up. It's a whole month of giveaways. Six. Oh, dang, I didn't even do it there. Five, two, zero, three, five, one, one, five, two, six. Okay, so there is my number, Sean Mailer.
text me your information and I will send them to you, okay? That's my phone number. Text me your address and all that stuff and we will get this voucher in the mail to you. Thank you guys for tuning in. There will be more giveaways. Looky right here. We have got all of this stuff right here. We got multiple, multiple cutters. Stretchers. Yeah, we got a set of power stretchers, toolboxes, just a whole mess of tools. We got like $5,000 worth of tools there. Actually, it was $5,300 $5, worth of tools, okay? Uh, so, and I, like I said earlier, I got more tools than uh, than I do days in December. So we're going to be doing more giveaways than that. Okay. As a matter of fact, hold on one second. Let's see here. Let me write it down before you. Okay. You got more vouchers, right? Yeah. Let, let's not do a pro knee. I want to save them for another day. I'm going to pick something else to give away. Write a number down on that. We're going to well, do another what's giveaway. It going to be between how many people we got on here we're going to do another giveaway you guys real quick and uh, something that I have already done a review on we will do that that way I don't have to do an all out review because I did a review on these pro knees right here so something I have already done a review on uh, let's see here How about this? I've already done a, I've already done a full-blown review on this D-cut flooring cutter. You guys, oh, I want to state too, it don't matter how many winners, okay? If you guys are lucky enough to guess it more than once, more than twice, more than three times, you deserve it, okay? So, when my, my wife had written down a number. number. She had a number written down there. And let's go between one and 50. No. Oh, did I say 100? One in 100, good. sorry. <laughs> I told her one in 100. I don't know the numbers, so Trevor, you be telling me. This D cut is going to the winner between one and 100. Let me see. Let me see so I can help you look. Okay. Dang it, it's coming in there. Well, oh, okay, what? okay. Run uh, 777771. Brian 77771 you got it right there buddy number 77 can you see that that's what the wife written down there okay Brian Bruin Bruin 7771 you got it with number 7 <laughs> Jerry did like 97 million or something oh, where's that at <laughs> oh yeah I see that Oh, he's doing different numbers. 90, oh, okay. <laughs> 97, 96, 95, 95. He's playing the, the clock game on that. Uh, yeah. Price is right. There you go. B-R-U-I-N-7-7-7-7-1. Okay, seven, seven. so uh, for the D-cut 9-inch cutter. 9-inch cutter. And okay. we... We're going to mail this stuff all out, like, say, one day. I'm not going to make trips every day. So maybe, like... We, we might make a trip to the post office once a week. How about that? Yeah. That would be a lot easier for us, okay? So one one week, uh, we'll, we'll make a trip up there every week, okay? That way, like I said, she ain't going every single day. Uh, uh, I'm honored it was in your hands first. Thank you. Uh. All right. Um <laughs> Uh, let's see here. That's a bad. That's a bad animals. <laughs> okay. Um, Brewing seventy seven 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 one. <laughs> seven and seven and seven and seven one. Um, do you need my number again, or can you get it right here? I'll just punch it in here. You guys text me your information. Tell me who you are and what you want. Treva has already written it down here, but I need to know. Some people. Uh, some people go by different names, like you Brewing seven seven seven. I need your uh, first and last name, okay? First and last name, and your complete mailing address to get this out to you, okay? Please remember first and last name. Yes, that's very important. Thank you, Paul. He said very kind of you to do this, guys. Oh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. 
So there's my number again. Um, we all win because we have all made friends with you guys. God bless you both. God bless you too. Good house Thank installation. Thank you, good house installation. That was nice of you to say, buddy. So that's two today. Uh, please print out. Please print out on here so I can come and grab. <laughs> grab that. <it> for you. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I will be waiting on my phone. Um, looking forward to the rest of December. Yes, sir. Every single day. Okay. Uh, oh, that's someone else. There's somebody else just pulled it in. Um, I've not got any text messages yet. I would like to receive a text message before I hang up here. If you guys would send me your information real quick, I would appreciate it before I get off here. Uh, later, Ricky. Thanks for joining, buddy. Um, are you guys still here? Can I get a text message from you guys? Okay, well, uh, let's see here. Enjoy spending time with the grandkids. Yes, sir. See you on the next one. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a great night, everyone. Okay, somebody just sent me a message right there. Um, I need a... Uh, congratulations. Uh, redo. <laughs> okay. Brewing here. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Go ahead and send me your information. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you for all the pro tips and the bubble repair for vinyl. Oh, cool. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Alrighty. Um, well, I already got one. One guy sent me something. Sean Mailer, you gonna you gonna text me, buddy, before I get off here? I'd appreciate it if you would. Which I'm in contact with you all the time through Messenger anyway, so it's cool. You can message me through Messenger or uh, send me. Uh, okay. All right, cool. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. All right. Until tomorrow. I won't say next time. Until tomorrow, FBSB is out.